Greetings from Royal Cyber. With the surge in use of mobile devices and mobile applications, there is a heightened demand for integration of mobile application technology with conventional business technologies. At Royal Cyber, we believe in staying ahead of the times. With this vision in mind, Royal Cyber has integrated IBM BPM, IBM ODM, and IBM Worklight in its latest proof of concept developed for the state-run eligibility program. Under this program, the applicant avails certain benefits from the state. The applicant has to furnish his personal details, details of his previous job, dependent details, and so on. This information is then validated and the applicant's eligibility is determined. Often, this process is a lengthy one, and there is a need to automate this decision-making capability to expedite the process so that the applicant is able to enjoy immediate benefits. This proof of concept attempts to demonstrate how IBM BPM, IBM ODM, and IBM Worklight can cater to the requirement of improved decision-making capability and better control over business processes. The following demo uses a few excerpts from the eligibility program to deploy business rules in determining an applicant's eligibility, along with his grant percentage and dole amount based on the details provided. Let us consider the case of two applicants applying for the benefits under the state run eligibility program. The first applicant is John Smith. John Smith is a 45-year-old male with a monthly income of $9,000. He lives in his own house. His only dependent is Megan Smith. his 40-year-old wife. With all these details, John applies for the scheme. The second applicant is Mark Williams. He is a 40-year-old male with a monthly income of $6,000 who lives in a rented house. His dependents are Ann Williams, his 36-year-old wife, And his son Jake Williams. He was ten years old. With all these details, Mark applies for the scheme. Mark decides to check the status of his application in the process flow diagram. He sees that his application is awaiting the reviewer's approval. Peter Russells, the reviewer, logs into the process portal. He notices that there are two cases awaiting his approval. He reviews John's application, which has been rejected as his monthly income is above the set limit of $8,000. He verifies this result and approves it so that John can view it. He checks Mark's application, which is valid as his income is below the set limit of $8,000. He verifies this and approves the result, which is now available for Mark to see. Now that Peter has reviewed the applications, John and Mark can see the results. John logs in and finds out that his case has been rejected as his income is above the set limit.
Mark logs in now. And finds that his case has been approved. And his grant percentage is 30 and his dole amount is $1,800. To fill the details and review them, the coach views of a business process definition developed in Process Designer of IBM VPM Suite are being used. The business process definition comprises four activities. The first one is a user task activity named Apply for Scheme that captures the applicant details. The system task activity Invoke Rules application sends the applicant's details to the rule engine and receives a response. This response is then reviewed in Review Result User Task Activity and upon approval, the result will be shown to the applicant through another user task activity called, re called View Results. The authorities administering the eligibility program are the owners of the business processes and business rules. Like John and Mark, there are several applicants using this application. At some point, the authorities decide that reviewing each application is an added task that is not necessary. They want the result of the application to be available to the applicant immediately. This task can be achieved in the following manner. The person responsible for making changes to the process flow logs into the process designer. He removes the review result activity and the reviewer swim lane from the business process diagram and redefines the transitions between activities. He saves these changes and logs out. Let us now consider another applicant, Thomas Wright. Thomas Wright is a 30-year-old male with a monthly income of $7,000, who lives in a rented house. His only dependent is his 24-year-old wife, Lucy Wright. He applies for the scheme and receives an, a response moments later. He finds out that he is eligible under the scheme and his grant percentage is 25 and his dole amount is $1,750. This case just demonstrated how any change made to the business process definition gets effective instantly. Let us consider a scenario where John and other applicants whose case got rejected file a complaint with the authorities stating that the monthly income limit is set too low. After several meetings on the issue, the authorities decide to raise the monthly income limit. However, they realize that with the increase in the number of approved applications, the budget may fall short. To strike a balance, they need to make changes in the calculation of the grant percentage. To make these changes, the administrator called Admin here logs into the Decision Center Enterprise Console to review the business rules and make necessary changes. The authorities decide to raise the income limit from $8,000 to $10,000. In the Grant Percentage Calculation Decision Table, the authorities decide to deduct all set values by 5. These changes are then deployed to the rules execution server.
the administrator now logs out. After finding out about the changes in the program, John decides to reapply. This time, however, John uses his mobile to submit his application. He is provided with a customized user interface through which he can provide his details. After finding out about the changes in the program, John decides to reapply. This time, however, John uses his mobile to submit his application. He is provided with a customized user interface through which he can provide his details. After filling in his details, John submits his application. Sometime later, he receives his response that he is now eligible. His grant percentage is 10 and his dole amount is $900. This proof of concept demonstrates how improved visibility, control of business processes and business rules can be achieved using IBM BPM and IBM ODM and how IBM Worklight enables development of rich cross-platform applications that can access the full capabilities of a wide range of mobile devices. Thank you for watching the video.